happening tonight. A lot of people are sick, and we were sick. They say they're being poisoned in their own homes by a toxic plume, afraid to breathe the air or use the water, and they can't sell their properties. And 10 News reporter Emily Thode is live. Emily, their stories are now grabbing the attention of Erin Brockovich. Yeah, and she's on the case, apparently. So it's not just the air, the vapors they're worried about. It's also their water. Even though their water is shipped in from somewhere else, they are afraid that the toxin are in it because of cracks in the pipes underground. We moved in November of last year. Okay. But we became so ill, summer gets worse. The hotter it gets, the more fumes you get. Up until just a few months ago, Stephanie Jordan and Ike Bruckman had no idea their El Cajon mobile home was sitting on a toxic plume of groundwater. It's polluted with cancer-causing chemicals that can seep into the air as toxic vapors. Trichloroethylene, also known as TCE. Toxins dumped into the ground decades ago by the adjacent former business Amatec according to the state water board. I'd be getting a bad headache and suddenly I'd look over and he was passed out. Dozens of worried residents living over the toxic groundwater packed into the auditorium at Magnolia Elementary School Wednesday night, all to hear this. Now the water board has never believed that the vapor from the plume was posing a threat to the mobile home parks. Many residents not buying it. We had breast cancer encephalitis. How are we ever going to sell to get out of there? Then they make statements that the, the parks are safe when they haven't tested it. Stephanie called celebrity consumer advocate Erin Brockovich. Wednesday, Brockovich wrote on her Facebook page she will be investigating. I want them to take responsibility for 50 years of neglect. And I did leave a message for Aaron Brockovich tonight. So far, I haven't heard back, but we will keep you posted. Back to you. Emily, thank you so much. All right, now this map behind me here shows the plume stretching from an aerospace company past Magnolia School in near Gillespie Field there. Team 10 exposed the toxic cleanup at Magnolia Elementary. This summer, the school installed underground pumps to try and get rid of any chemicals that were floating into the air. The school was closed for a year and reopened back in August. The district says air quality tests met California's EPA guidelines. The changes on the campus won't be completely finished, though, until spring.